Hi, I am Andrea Sino. I work in sustainable consumption and production. Welcome to Fundación Chile. Consumers are just starting to understand what sustainability is and how to link sustainability to their everyday purchases. We wanted to understand where we were in terms of sustainable consumption and how we could incentivize it. So Micodio Verde is a platform to promote sustainable consumption. This platform will give information to consumers about environmental and social attributes of uh, mass consumption products. So once they are in this uh, supermarket or other stores, they will be able to grab a product and look within this platform what are the environmental and social attributes of this product and prefer products that actually have more positive environmental and social impact. To define like what information is relevant with regards to each product, what attributes are relevant to the product itself, we base our methodology on life cycle approach. What we do is along the life cycle of each product, we identify the spots, the specific times where the, we generate the more environmental and social impact in this production line. So by identifying these specific points, which are the hotspots, that's what we call them, and we ask the producers how they manage each of these hotspots. And this is the information that we um, process and give to the consumers in the platform. When we're talking about sustainability, we're talking about three main pillars. When we talk about the people part of sustainability, we're talking about what these producers do with their workers, what's their relationship with their workers, and also with the community that they're in. So the mushroom producer we work with also promotes and incentivizes the empowerment of women. He also offers like growing within the company, so they're constantly training their workers and also they work with no pesticides in their production, which is also good for the health of the workers. We work with a wine producer, and this wine producer has a big focus on the social aspects of their production. With the workers, they give them a lot of opportunities. For example, they promote entrepreneurship, and also they give them some space to have their own gardens, to grow their own food. So they promote and they teach them how to grow their own food in an organic way, which is the, the whole philosophy of the wine producer. A second pillar of sustainability is the environment and how these producers relate to the environment they are, they are producing in. The wine producer we work with, they are an organic and biodynamic farm, which means they do not use pesticides and the fertilizers they use are organic, are more natural. The wine producer is also very concerned about the biodiversity of the surroundings of this farm. The mayonnaise producer we work with has a plant that is zero waste to landfill. Some of them are actually recycled, some of them produce energy for other processes and some of them are reused, but they don't send any solid waste to landfill. Also, this plant operates only on renewable energy. The third pillar of sustainability is the profit part and this is an important pillar because all businesses uh, have to focus, one of the main focus is obviously producing profit and having economic growth of the company. And they are starting to discover that this is not something separate from sustainability but sustainability will help them achieve this profit. It's not only about saving energy or saving water, which means an, an actual and direct reduction in, in what they have to pay, 
but it's also realizing that they need these natural resources in order to have their production. The main thing for me, like going into a, a, a consumer project, it's helping them realize that it's the small decisions that can actually make a change. And that's what we're trying to make at least Chilean consumers understand and realize and feel like responsible of these small decisions, not only the huge ones. Sí, sí.